Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Julio Arce versus Herbert Burns. Julio Arce, 18 and 6, 2 and 3 in his last 5 fights, 1 and 2 in his last 3. 34 years old, 5'7 with a 70 inch reach. Herbert Burns, 11 and 4, 3 and 2 in his last 5 fights, 36 years old, 5'9 with a 74 inch reach, 2 inch in height for Herbert Burns, 4 inch in reach for also Herbert Burns, the brother of Gilbert Burns. I, I mean, this matchup is fun because Herbert Burns in that first round is a very, very fun fighter. Didn't look necessarily the greatest against uh, uh, Billy Al uh, Bill Algio. Uh, I think the first round he came out looked pretty well. Daniel Pineda destroyed him after the first round. It's hard because, like... If he's going to do anything, he needs to start to go. He's 36 years old, which obviously is a big, big issue. You know, has nine finishes, seven subs in the first round. The issue is, is Daniel Arce, uh, Jesus, Daniel Arce, what the fuck? Julio Arce, like I said, 18 and 6, is 34 years old, will be 35 in October. You know, he has 10 finishes out of 18 wins. He also has two finishes in the first round. I don't think there's any first round finishes for him in the UFC. No, zero first round finishes in the UFC. You know, and he's beaten some decent fighters. You know, he's beaten he beat Danny Gay, David Tamer, lost a split against Shaman Marais, beat Julian uh, Erosa in a fire fight, which was super fun. Um, lost to Hakeem Dawadu by split. Beat Andre Yule. Andrew Yule's not very good. Uh, lost to Song Yudong, which was a shocker back then because of all the experience that Julio Arce has. For, for Song Yudong being the one guy that's finished, Julio Arce says how good Julio Arce is. Beat Daniel Santos. Lost to Montel Jackson by decision. Just that power is, is so, so crazy for Montel Jackson. And his calmness, his timing, his speed is wild. Herbert Burns also hurt his knee in his last fight against uh, Bill Algio. Um, he also was crazy tired, but I'm pretty sure he also hurt his knee, and he was beating Daniel Pineda in the first round and just got super, super tired. So expect a very fast-paced first round. Again, Julio Arce has been submitted one time. It was not in the UFC. It was against Brian Kelleher back in 2016 when Kelleher was a younger man. I like Julio Arce in this one. I think he picks him, picks him apart um, with his striking style. It's a very, very fun style. I like it a lot. He's a lot of fun to watch. Um, yeah, I like Julio Arce in this one. The first round's going to be a little wild, but Julio Arce can really overwhelm Herbert Burns and get him out of there. But as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. Peace.